So over the past few months, I've been stuck in one of the biggest ruts I've had in a while. And I'm sick of hiding it. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it straight with you. Uh, it wasn't the type of rut in which I felt particularly sad or anything like that, but I was severely unproductive. My self-esteem was going down. My overall confidence got affected just by this one crucial mistake that we're going to talk about today that if you do... Trust me, dude, especially in summer, right? This can get you fucked up. But let's get straight to the story, right? Because I, we need to talk about this first. So since the moment that summer started, I had this challenge for myself. And it's going to sound pretty funny, right? But I wanted to land at the backflip before <laughs> summer ends. Right? It was this funny challenge I gave myself. I wanted to see if I can actually do it. And for me to land that challenge, for me to actually finish it, I started to sacrifice other things for the sake of just focusing on this one goal, right? So over time, you know, I stopped going to the gym as consistently. I started to sacrifice some of my boxing sessions <laughs> just so that I can focus purely on the backflip, right? And everything was going great because I was sacrificing more and more things for the sake of landing the challenge. I actually started to skyrocket my progress. You know, this was the initial plan. The way you make progress in life is not by trying to level up all the things at once. No, that's not gonna work, buddy. What you have to do is you need to sacrifice. Sacrifice completely and prioritize just one thing. That's how you make the best progress, right? But there was a catch to it. There was a catch to my story, which it's the reason I'm making this video, right? But <laughs> essentially, I didn't have a routine for anything of this. Essentially, if I woke up, if, <laughs> when I woke up, I just like, if, if I felt like it, then I might go on a fucking backflip thingy. But over, overall, I was still doing my usual routine. And over time, my routine started to get more and more and more fucked up. And there was one event that changed everything. Essentially, I was on the football pitch that I used for practicing the backflip, right? And I was doing this thing where, you know, I put one arm on the ground to help me land it, but I was actually trying to go for it. And in one of these attempts, I kind of landed awkwardly on my wrist, right? And this ended up to be an injury which stopped my training for the next two weeks. And the issue is that I couldn't go back to my usual routine because guess what? Now that my wrist is fucked up, I can't even go to the gym or do boxing either. I'm sure you don't need a wrist to land in the back for it, but keep in mind, I still use my hands for assistance when landing, right? So it was kind of a shitty spot for me, right? Because I couldn't go back to my usual routine and I didn't have anything planned as a backup. So what do you think I did? Before you even know it i was slowly shifting back to my old usual addictions now in this two week break from training one of these weeks i spent on vacation i was in balaton and hungary is a sick fucking place right we're not gonna get into it but essentially when i came back oh no sorry fuck <laughs> when i was on the trip right essentially i spent even more time on my phone than i did before right because what was I supposed to do on an eight hour drive? Well, I could have watched something productive. I could have been journaling. I could have been talking to my parents like a normal fucking kid. <laughs> but what I did is out of those eight hours worth of uh, traveling, I spent at least six on fucking YouTube, right? It's fucking, it's embarrassing because all I was watching, like, Sure, I was watching some self-improvement videos to, you know, get the get the thought that, oh yeah, I'm being productive, but bro, I was watching some like uh antivirus what? versus um <laughs> versus virus bro, what are you talking about, <laughs> from like 2018, bro. <laughs> I was cringing to death. I was trying to convince myself that, oh yeah, I need this. I need to be productive. I was just watching some like random brain rot content from 2020. <laughs> but yeah, going back to the topic, when I came back home, my routines were even more fucked up, right? I couldn't get back to anything. So of course, that affected my self-esteem a lot because guess what? I knew that I was being unproductive. 
all of those thoughts, they were lingering inside my mind. They were sitting in the back of my head trying to mess with me. And messed with me indeed they had because my self-image was going down. Therefore, my confidence wasn't going down. I didn't feel particularly sad in that event, but I, I, I didn't feel like I was doing enough. You know that feeling when you're not, not living up to your full potential? Like you're a guy on self improvement, right? I know you way better than you think I do. But essentially, you know this feeling when we are unproductive and we know we are procrastinating and it just sits in the back of our minds playing with us? Almost like a... I forgot what I wanted to say here, but it just starts to linger in your mind and starts getting really fucking annoying. That's exactly what I felt, right? Because not only did I sacrifice pretty much most of my self-improvement habits for the sake of landing a stupid back foot challenge, now that I fucked up my wrist, I couldn't really do that either. So I was left without a routine, without a plan, and before you even know it, I was coming back to my old habits. Therefore, all of that stuff started to, well, snowball down, right? And this is what I wanted to talk about today, because when you mess with your routines, <laughs> you might think this is some like bullshit, subtle, minute thing that I shouldn't be making a video about, right? But Fred, what does this have to do with uh, being depressed? <laughs> Listen, I stopped this whole like rabbit hole at the right time because if I kept falling downhill, well, it's not really falling, it's more like spiraling down, I would have been like fucked up to the brim, right? <laughs> Essentially, your routines. They are very similar to your sleep cycles. So you know how when you go to sleep every single hour. So imagine like realistically, let's say you go to sleep around 12 p.m. Every single day, right? So you go to sleep 12 p.m. or a.m. I don't fucking know how English time zones work. <laughs> and you wake up at around 8 or 9, for example. It's summer, so it might be even worse, right? But imagine that after a week, two weeks of consistent, consistently, fuck, I've been recording in so long, waking up and going to sleep, both at the same time, imagine that suddenly out of nowhere, we try to go to sleep at 10 p.m., perhaps even 9 p.m. Guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna lay in your bed for two hours straight, not being able to do anything, not being able to fall asleep, all the way until probably 12 p.m. again. You know, you know what I mean? When your schedule's fucked up, it messes with your body. Your body is not used to this shit. It can genuinely, like, not just fuck up the life. You can fuck up everything. <laughs> you get you get where I'm going with this, right? But this rut, this rut had affected my productivity a lot, and it was probably the biggest rut I've had in a while. You know, I'm usually pretty productive, but this was the trap that I fell for. And this is the trap that you are the most likely to follow, my friend. So please don't make like this. Never mess with your routines. And it's completely all right to make a new one if you have to. Most people, <laughs> they somehow live without a routine, right? But everything you do in your life is kind of a routine. We have our cycles. We have our rituals that we tend to follow. You don't believe me? Look at your timetable at school. Every week is the same thing. You know what classes you're going to go to on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, that's Thursday, Sunday. <laughs> you get where I'm going with this, right? You're, you have much, much more routines than you have because that's how we structure our lives, really. And when you fuck with those routines, it starts to feel weird. It's hard to get used to a new routine. Now, you can change your routines, of course, but... Keep in mind, in this whole backflip challenge I had for myself, I didn't change anything. I tried to mix it into my second routine while simultaneously trying to sacrifice everything. And essentially, I would only train backflips if I felt like. No routine, no schedule, no plan, no, no nothing. Every time I just felt like doing something, that's when I'll do it. And this wasn't really the smartest way to go about it, is it? So you need to have some routines and follow them. The, the funny thing about vacation and school and stuff like that is that when I'm in school, when it's like the school year, I always want it to be summer. I always complain how I have no time for anything, yet this is the time where I'm the most fucking productive. I'm always productive when school's around. 
because it gives me a full timetable to follow because I finish school every single day at this hour. Then I finish school on that hour. Then I do this. Then I do that. It's much simpler for me to build around that. When it's the school year, I know that I'm going to lift weights every Thursday right after school at this hour, at this day, blah, 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 blah. I know that I'm going to be sparring at every Monday and every Wednesday after dinner, blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> you get where I'm going with this? Everything was structured perfectly. Now, sometimes there are going to be things where they just kind of happen unexpected, right? And you don't really have control over it. That's fine. But you still need to have the general foundation for your routine and because, because you stay to this point of the video, I'm gonna show you my old routine. Just to give you something to follow, right? This is the old timetable that I used to follow. I don't use this one anymore, but I just wanted to show you this. You can do something similar. I need to make a new one because I'm entering my senior year. Yeah, just like I write it down, all the school, like stuff, all the work. Work is YouTube, by the way, just so you know. But yeah, this is a, this is a pretty fair structure to follow. You don't need to make something as specific as mine where you literally write down every single hour. But this helped me stay very consistent, right? So if you want to learn more stuff about that, if you want to... If you want to be more with me, then click the fucking button, all right? <laughs> and, oh, by the way, I almost fucking forgot. If you want to hang around a community of like-minded people who share the same values, same interests, we do voice calls like almost every week. We always have a fucking blast. We always learn something productive. Whilst, like, whilst having the most fun sessions fucking ever on Discord, join the Discord group. I don't want to bullshit you with like spamming my little subscribe button. Oh, go subscribe, go join my Discord, go suck my dick. But I genuinely feel like this is the right thing for you to do. Trust me, you've, you've never had a community like this on Discord, ever. Shake on it. Shake on it, bro. <laughs> All right, enough of me screaming to the camera like a 12 year old kid. <laughs> all right, you've had enough, all right? Just click all the buttons, do all these things. If you want to, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one, brother. <laughs> I have such a brain rot today. Yeah, take care, buddy.